One star who's lived through her own real-life scandals is Misha Barton. The former star of the OC made headlines when a video surfaced of her melting down in her backyard. Now Misha is speaking out about it publicly for the first time with Dr. Phil. I think it was complete hallucination. I have no idea what I was talking about. It was this January when Misha was seen in her backyard rambling incoherently and screaming. Were you seeing something or was it an auditory hallucination, a visual it, hallucination? It was both. Before I black out and don't remember anything, it was both auditory and visual. Misha was then voluntarily hospitalized for a mental evaluation. She later said she had been given a date rape drug at a party. And then the whole part, like outside, is just blackout. It was quite a tumble from Barton's exciting days starting in 2003 as Hollywood's newest it girl starring on The O.C. The O.C. was like an overnight success and I was the youngest of everyone on the cast at that time. After leaving The O.C., Misha began her downward spiral, first with a DUI in 2007. Two years later, she started on the short-lived series The Beautiful Life. Everybody was very concerned that I wasn't ready, and there was a lot of pressure to do right by the show and to helm a new series. That pressure, Misha tells Dr. Phil, involved people medicating her to keep her working. Speed. Well, no, not necessarily just that. Also things like Xanax and things that like take away like the anxiety of work and like the public eye and I was getting pretty stressed out. So in general, they were just prescribing things they probably had no right to be prescribing. That episode of Dr. Phil airs on Monday. And we will be watching.